and now we need to shape the stringers to follow the lines of the bulkheads. Be careful not to take anything off the bulkheads themselves, they're the right, the right shape. the aprons need to be filed as well to follow the same profile. area also needs a little filing just to make sure the front deck fits smoothly. And when you're ready you can check that you've sanded properly by the fitting piece of the deck and the skins. Look for a close fit around the edges, if not file a bit more. Give it a 
supposed to fit along here all the way along. If you haven't got it quite flat enough, you'll see a gap. Check all the edges, make sure they're all snug fit. It's worth spending a bit of time getting the filing right. The kit is supplied with mountings pre-drilled for several common motor types. And a blank undrilled one for any other types. This is a typical 600 size motor which is ideal for the kit. It's fitted with leads and suppression capacitors as required by the ESC you're using. Fit the motor bracket to the motor using socket cap screws and washers. Make sure you use socket cap screws because it will be very difficult to get the screwdriver in to remove normal screws once the bra bracket is glued in place. Now fit the coupling to the motor shaft. Tighten the grub screw, making sure there's a gap between the coupling and the motor bearing housing so that it doesn't rub. Fit the coupling to the prop shaft. Again, leave a gap so that the coupling doesn't rub on the prop shaft. And tighten the grub screw. Now align the motor in both directions, vertical and horizontally. Make sure there's a parallel gap between the motor and the keel to show that it's in line. Most importantly, you get the motor shaft in line with the prop shaft. Universal couplings don't really like to be at an angle. When you're sure things are at the right position, glue one side in, just lightly at this stage. Then check the alignment in this direction. And when it's right, glue the other side of the bracket. Now we need to reinforce the bracket with these four blocks. Press one tightly into the corner between the bracket and keel and glue it in place. Make sure it doesn't stick out below the level of the skin, otherwise you'll have to file off the end of the block. Now the second block. third one. Always press in really tightly so you get a good glue joint. And the fourth one. that'll produce a really solid motor mount. Now remove the motor and the prop shaft 
this is the last chance to check over the frame and make sure everything is solid make sure all the joints are solid before we fit the skins this is also a good time to varnish those areas that will be inaccessible when skins are fitted or difficult to get at so the areas inside here 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 but whatever you do make sure you don't varnish over the parts you're going to glue the skins onto so avoid the stringers the edges of the bulkheads the edges of the deck stringers and the transom because there's a false transom to be glued on there as well the next job is to fit the decks they come in three parts a four deck and two two side pieces fit the four deck first there are two locating pegs here they make it very simple to locate Let's fit it over the pegs press it down tiny amount of glue just to tack it on try and avoid getting the glue on the deck because it will not take the stain the same way if you do <coughs> now press it down to the edges on the glue along the same thing on the other side and do the same thing on the other side Next, we apply a side deck, put it up against the fore deck. Align the inside edge with the stringer, same at the back, lining the inside edge. glue it to the outside stringer
and repeat for the left deck, exactly the same. Next, the hatch covers. These cover the locator peg. Doesn't matter exactly where you put them. small piece to cover the other peg just line them up with the decking or a light on top of that one. The next job is to fit the false transom. Make sure you get it right way round. The uh, hole there lines up with the hole in the transom. Sit it on top of the protruding deck ends. Line it up equally with either side. It will overhang very slightly on either side because of the sanding you did earlier. Next, the rear hatch 
two parts, the deck and the former. Carefully fit the deck over the pegs. Press them down firmly. That forms a curve to match the rest of the deck. Cover the pegs with these small discs. Just position them evenly between the planks. and a deck fitting on each of those.